Hello friends, and welcome to my channel. My name is Brian Hussar, as usual, I'm sure you all know that. And this is where I talk about my passions of the Beatles, music, movies, and musical theater. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you like what you see, please click that subscribe button. Doing a lot of film stuff lately, probably because I've been having a lot of time to watch more and watch a lot of things that I have that I haven't watched. But some recent discoveries I made of films that are classics, that I think are classics. And this is a film that came out in, you know, 67. And I think it was shown in America in, in 68. It's the debut film by French director Claude Barry. The Two of Us, starring um, Michael Simone, Alan Cohen, and Charles Denier. This is a delightful film. It takes place during World War II occupied France, Nazi occupied France, and it, it's an extremely autobiographical story about Claude and what actually happened to him. And he's an eight-year-old Jewish boy who doesn't really care about the war. Doesn't care about the war. He just wants to be an eight-year-old boy and do what eight-year-old boys do, which causes him to get into trouble because his family is living in Paris pretty much anonymously, trying to keep their faith and everything secret. But he keeps on almost blowing it for them. So... He's sent to live in the country with the family of their Catholic neighbors in Paris, their father. And what happens is the relationship between the boy and the old man, played by Michael Simone, who always looked older in real life than what he actually was, the old man, who he calls Grandpa in the film, he's anti-Semitic. He doesn't know the boy is Jewish. They trained the boy to be Catholic. So his parents and their neighbors taught him the Our Father to say it before bed so he could live in the country and nobody know what his nationality is or what his religion is. Excuse me. And the old man, he doesn't know. But it, what surprised me about the film is that it's not one of those films where the boy is this annoying kid and the old man has to finally take a liking to him. The old man takes a liking to him immediately when he tells him, don't eat rabbits, eat vegetables, because his wife brings him fresh rabbit to eat. And the boy really hasn't eaten good in a long time. And he tells him, eat vegetables don't eat the meat. So the grandfather is a vegetarian. And he's got a lovely dog, too. And that relationship is great. But adjusting to life in the country is hard. Going to school is hard. He gets into trouble there, but he's got the grandfather to fall back on. He's got the old man to fall back on, who loves him. And the boy loves him as well. He's got somebody there to play with and talk to. What I like, there's a famous scene in the film where the boy asks him, Grandpa, why don't you like the Jews? And everything the grandfather tells the boy, the boy is has a smirk on his face. He's smarter than the old man. He's showing the old man what a hypocrite he is. They have crooked noses. They smell bad. They have flat feet. They count money, not realizing that he's talking to a boy who is Jewish. And he's got a smirk on his face, and then the next day the boy does something else to him. You have a crooked nose. You're one of them! You're one of them! <laughs> but other than that, the relationship is extremely playful, that by the end of the film, when he goes back to the city, the look of sadness that comes on his face, it, it has stayed with me stayed with me so much that after the first time I saw it I waited a couple hours and I played it again it's a short film an hour and 25 minutes hour and 25 minutes 
Claude Berry, I knew of him later on in life with Jean de Florette and Germinal, both with Gerard de Perdue. And those came out in the early, in the late 80s or early 90s. I know Germinal came out in 93. And he's a fantastic filmmaker, but I didn't know he went back this far. It's great when you discover a film that is new and it opens up something else in you, something that you haven't seen before or, or haven't known before or felt before. I have a feeling that if this film was made in America, you'd have a bit more conflict going on. But here you have a heartwarming story that is simply told, Claude Barry, this is 1967, Jean-Luc Godard is making Weekend, very revolutionary, very angry, very disjointed, and here's a film that is just told simply. No fancy camera moves, no fancy French New Wave jump cuts, extremely beautiful classical style. And just the performances of Michael Simone and Alan, and Alan Cohen are what make this film. So if you haven't ever caught the two of us, I urge you to check this out. Cohen Film Collection is another specialty company that's doing great work. They have all the Merchant Ivory films, so Howard's End is a film I'll be talking about. This is a 4K transfer that they did for its 50th anniversary that came out last year. And it is beautiful. The blacks are black, enough film grain that needs to be there. But it, it is such a beautiful transfer. Special features are kind of slim. There's a feature-length audio commentary with Wade Major, who's a film critic with NPR, um, and um, the 2017 re-release trailer. But all in all, when you have such a great film like this, and for a lot of people who I don't think have recently discovered or rediscovered this film, you definitely need to see this. This is a beautiful film, and more films need to be made like this nowadays. And like I said before, back then in the 60s with the newspaper ads, everything was given equal time. There was room for everything. There was room for everything. And there's room for everything nowadays, too. We just don't hear about it. I have theories about that, which I will talk about in future videos. So that is my Blu-ray pick of the week. The two of us, written and directed by Claude Barry. Beautiful, heartwarming, touching film. And that is it for this one. And like, please leave me a comment below. Anything you'd like me to talk about. And until we meet again.